everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea and today I have my Pan Those Eyeshadows introduction for 2022. I've been doing this project for two years. Wait, is this my third year? I don't know. I've been doing it for a while and uh, I really, I really love it. This was created by Alexi as though nobody knows and I, what I'm really loving about it this year is everyone seems to be like really, really customizing it to their panning needs and preferences. So I am also recustomizing this project for myself. I have decided that I'm only going to work on shadows from palettes, so no singles this year. I'm only going to work from four shadows at a time. I am only going to be picking from palettes that have no pan in them yet. And for every palette that I choose besides one shade that I'm going to try to hit pan in, I'm also going to do like no pan left behind style and have to use every shade in the palette before I can roll the shadow out. Now, obviously, I don't know which palettes I'm getting yet. So I don't know. I haven't quite decided if I'm going to allow myself like a usage goal kind of thing like I did last year or if I just really want to actually hit pan even if it might take like six months. A lot of that is going to depend on what palettes I get and I haven't quite decided yet either <laughs> whether I'm going to completely randomize all, some, or none of these shadows that I'm working with. So this is... This is going to be an interesting video because I don't really know what I'm doing. So I have on the iPad, these are all of my palettes that have no pan in them. So I'm just going to draw four. My Sonia Kashuk Gems and Jewels. God, that one's old. Alter Ego Goddess. Ooh, I haven't used that one yet at all. Love Lux Beauty Bittersweet. Okay. And then one more. Colourpop Bye Bye Birdie. Ooh. So I'm already really liking uh, what, well, you know, Except for maybe that Sony Kashuk one, but that's so old, it should be really easy to hit pan in. So I'm going to go grab those, and then maybe on camera with you, I'll decide what I'm going to do, because I really don't know yet. But I will be right back with those palettes. So before I decide how I'm going to do this, I'll show you the palettes that I got really quick. This is um, a Sony Kashuk six pan palette in gems and jewels. This is This is one of, like, the first palettes I got. They are all like shimmer or glittery shades. So there's that one. This one is broken a little bit. This is my Love Lux Beauty Bittersweet Quad. I I like their shadows. I really do, but they're so fragile. So I, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about that, but there's what that palette looks like. And then I also don't know if I'm showing you these in the order that I picked them, but this is my Alter Ego Goddess palette. I finally bought this because I decided I wanted the gold palette like the day she discontinued it and then you couldn't find it anywhere. So since I can't get the gold palette, I thought, well, I'll get, I'll get the dupe and I'll only spend $15 instead of $129. So this is what that looks like again. I may have, <clears throat> I may have swatched, I think I swatched Cassandra, that's what it looks like, and not any of the others, and I haven't used it on my eyes yet. And then my ColourPop Bye Bye Birdie palette. Well then, oh my gosh. I mean, it's st 
still mostly intact. That is one of the Super Shock shades. Okay. Well, <laughs> I gotta be careful with that palette, I guess. Oh, okay, so. What, I, what to do, what to do. Okay, well, first things first. I know for this palette, I do not want to pan this one because it's broken and I just don't want to deal with it. And I'm already working on something fairly similar to this shade for Jessica in my panner's pan. So let's give a let's give these mattes a swatch. Let's see. I mean, they're pretty... Okay, I think just swatching them out kind of answered my question for me. This is very similar to a few shadows I have in my Beauty A to Z. So I'm going to work on this, the lightest orange matte in the palette. And it is, it is the shade Juicy. So that's what I'm going to be working on out of that palette. I think I'm going to be easy on myself for this palette, and I'm going to go with this top shimmer right there, because it's already got a little bit of a dip going in it, so. Oops. And even though this is several years old, it still performs fine. I just, I never use it. Okay. Oh my god, this palette. Let's see. As much, so for this, as much as I'm drawn to like this shade, I have a shade almost exactly like it in my Beauty A to Z. This one looks very similar as well, so I don't want to use those. But you know, I don't have, I don't have a great like inner corner highlight color. So I think... That is what I'm going, whoops, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to go with this shade Freya right here. And then finally for the Bye Bye Birdie palette. I don't know if I should just, I probably should work on one of these Super Shocks because as we just saw, that first one just fell right out, and I'm sure that the second one, I mean, they're both getting dried out. I need to use them. Actually, I think that one is dried out. Those are the two super shocks. Let's, we'll go with the one that uh, fell out of the palette, because I feel like that's a bit, that'll go well with the one from the Love Lux Beauty palettes. So we'll cover this top one up because that's not part of the color story, but that's the color story. Like I could definitely use all of these shadows together if I wanted, which is also part of the part of what I wanted to do by picking the shades myself because then it's not like you have clashing color combos. And if I want to wear all of my panels eyeshadows in one like in one eye look but they all like it's a very I mean I like bright and colorful looks but you know sometimes they don't come out the most cohesive so I feel like this is again covering up well whatever just pretend that top smudge isn't there because that's not part of my color story but I think those those four go together pretty well and I can definitely incorporate them into my beauty a to z singles that I'm working on. So that, uh, that's not, this isn't too bad. Like I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. Again, I, I have never touched the Alter Ego Goddess palette. So I don't have any clue how deep the pans are. I feel like I could probably hit pan on the Super Shock from the Bye Bye Birdie palette pretty quickly because it is, does seem pretty dried out. Honestly, the hardest part of this project is going to be hitting pan while simultaneously making sure I use every single shade in these palettes. 
Now, again, I was a little lucky this time because I didn't get anything super big. I mean, I got a quad and a sextet. So those will be, although the uh, Sony Kashuk one, they're all, like I said, all metallic or shimmer or like glittery shadow. So you can't, I mean, you could, but I also wouldn't wear all those together because a lot of them are quite dark and I think they just muddy it up. But the Goddess palette is probably the one that's going to take me the longest to actually use all of the shadows in. Although since the shade that I pull, am pulling in is just an inner corner shade, it's this one right here. So it theoretically shouldn't be too hard to hit pan on. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. This is... A, this is a journey for all of us because, like I said, I uh, switching it up this year. I, I switch it up every year just because, just try to keep it fresh, keep it interesting. But this is a very spring color story as well, which I don't actually really care about wearing certain colors during certain seasons. But it would have been nice to have this color story in spring, but it's okay. I can work with it. So that is my intro. I'm very excited to be doing this project again. I know that Lainey from Makeup with Lainey has revamped hers where she has like a list of 100 prompts that she's doing. I know Misty is also doing like using Lainey's prompts for her project. Ruth is doing all sorts like she's got all sorts of different areas that she's pulling stuff in from like I know one of her shades she uses ladies prompts and one she works on a palette that's already in a project and like she's got different criteria for like each shade that she's rolling in and I just I don't know I just think it's really fun to see like the individual spin that everybody is putting on this project so that's it for me for today I hope you enjoyed let me know if you're doing this project as well I hope you're staying safe and staying and healthy and I'll talk to you in the next one bye